Hi, I'm Scott Olson with Founder Buzz, and I'm here today with uh, Miguel Valdez from Bonita Soft. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Scott. The pleasure. Well, um, why don't we just start off? Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your company? Okay, sure. Um, so, Miguel Valdez, I'm um, I'm a Spanish, uh, but you know, running um, a French company, have been uh, living in different countries those last couple of years. So I'm an engineer by training. So I'm the founder uh, of the uh, open source technology that today is Bonita Soft is um, pushing into the market. So I created this technology around 10 years ago when I moved from Barcelona to France. Uh, then we had the chance to, you know, for the, the last 10 years uh, to continue to develop this technology. The, com the, the technology was started in a research center. They was then moved to uh, the, uh, the, the private sector. So, um, so we experimented this move. Um, so during the last six years before we created Bonita Soft at the company, the technology was supported by uh, Bull, the French integrator. Uh, so we had the chance at, to, uh, you know, to build a BPM division at Bull uh, together with the other two co-founders of Bonita Soft. Uh, Today is our uh, CDO, Charles Suyar, uh, BP of Engineering, and our service director, Rodrigue Legal. So they were working in my team in the BPM division. We were helping Bull to deploy uh, BPM uh, projects uh, worldwide. Uh, sometimes with Bonita, the technology, the open source technology, sometimes with uh, other uh, BPM technology from proprietary vendors. And now, uh, you, you, just let me interrupt real quick, just for the audience that's not familiar with the, the acronym, BPM is Business Process Management. Of course, and, yeah. And maybe you could just uh, give us a brief uh, view on how people, how companies are using that really to be successful. That's a mature technology. I know that, uh, you know, you're kind of coming in with an open source solution that's got a lot of cost effectiveness, but... You know, how are people using business process management software today to benefit their company? So, uh, business process management, as you mentioned, is a mature market and it's something really, uh, you know, uh, that everyone understands, which is like the way in which we improve processes in organizations. So, the key point is like you can use BPM technology in any um, uh, sector, uh, in any company. It's the way in which you can first uh, draw your process or model your process graphically and the way in which you define how those processes are going to interact with people and systems. Uh, so uh, I always say that anybody needs uh, a BPM uh, solution, uh, and some examples of that could be, for example, when you are manufacturing, like doing car manufacturing, you have a process in which you are building uh, the car there, but you can also, when you are shopping uh, in a, a online, there is a process in which uh, you are sending your order, somebody's going to validate your order. So, uh, you know, it's, there is a big portfolio of applications that can be developed uh, on top of the BPM technologies, from the easy one uh, on the net, to more complex and mission criticals like car or aircraft manufacturing, for example. But of course, financial, any sector can use VPN technologies. And now, if I read correctly, I mean, I think that uh, Benita Soft is one of the only open source solutions available for BPM uh, software. Is that correct? That's correct. Actually, there are a bunch of other uh, BPM projects uh, in open source. Um, but Bonita, uh, Bonita Soft is the, um, is the only one that has been, for example, um, uh, certified by Garner as, uh, you know, the uh, complete BPM solution right. in open source, meaning that is the only one that match uh, all the criteria that uh, customers should expect from a BPM solution, but in open source. So, meaning that the other projects has some of the modules, some of the functionalities, but um, Bonita's idea was to provide a fully functional BPM solution, but in open source. Yeah, and well, that, thanks for the clarification. That helps, and I think that um, you know I've actually interviewed a few other founders from open source companies, and I know how important the community is to your success. And so I'd really like to hear from you a little bit about uh, Bonita Soft's community and, and kind of the role it's, it's playing in, in your company, uh, as well as you know, how it's different getting, a, getting an open source company off the ground as opposed to just starting a traditional software company. So, I mean, it's, for me, it's completely different, um, you know, because first of all, um, when you create an uh, open source company, you have to become global. So, uh, I mean, that you have to develop really fast uh, and your community has to be a global community if you want uh, to build a successful business model around that. And so, uh, going back to the, your question about community, community is crucial uh, because at the end of the day, those are the guys that are using, providing feedback, you know, spreading the word and disseminating uh, the, the, the solution. Uh, so, we took the decision from the very beginning uh, to, to have a dedicated community uh, team inside Bonita Soft that are dedicated to manage the community. So that means building the tooling that the community can use, you know, to foster this, um, uh, this dissemination, 
Also, uh, building the materials. Sometimes, you know, we have a kind of um, Bonita Soft TV channel in which we, we propose there are a lot of videos that helps also to get new people in the community. We have a contribution section in which um, we provide the tools to the community to contribute back some code. So uh, we have a dedicated team from the very beginning. That's what's one of the lessons that we learned uh, uh, when we, before we created Bonita Soft is that if you don't put all that and all this energy and all this team behind that, uh, it's tricky, you know, to build a, uh, an international community. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And, so, you sorry, know, it, one of the things I found as well is it seems like the open source community is very helpful for um, education and support as well. Is that Has that been your experience also? Exactly. And especially I will say that uh, local education, uh, that's what's happened, for example, you know, even if we are a global company and, for example, today, from the 75 employees at Bonita Sub, we have more than 15 nationalities, so that helps, uh, you know, to interact with the community. Uh, so by default, we are communicating in English, French, and Spanish. But then we have a bunch of other people that has translated, for example, the software in 13 other languages, uh, and they also the materials. They are writing white papers. So those guys are helping us with the, uh, you know, dissemin local dissemination, and that's, that's crucial. Fantastic. Yeah, that's that's, that's super helpful. Exactly. Um, well, I know you've got some big news that uh, that you just closed a, a round of funding, and I, I know how good that feels as a founder of a company. And, and so uh, uh, I believe you've raised $11 million. Is that correct? Exactly. And that's our second round of funding. Okay. And uh, what does that bring you up to to date in terms of total funding for your company? So it was the first round was in euros, so it was four and a half um, uh, million euros, uh, so something like six or seven million dollars. And the second round is 11. Uh, and um, this is, uh, we got the first round of funding two years ago when we created the company. So this is our second round two years later. And, and what is uh, the main objective for that in terms of contributing to your company growth? So initially, um, so the main, the main objective uh, is um, uh, to continue to develop the company. Uh, so mostly internal growth is going to be. Uh, first thing is like we're going to foster our sales and marketing. So no surprise there. So we managed in the last two years to show two different things. Uh, first, it's like we get this community and this massive dissemination. So we are about to announce our 1 million downloads of the solution. So with this exciting community around uh, more than 8,000 people contributing uh, uh, around, around the product. But also, we managed to show that the business model uh, works. So in less than 12 months doing business, we managed um, also to sign more than 190 customers in 35 countries in just four quarters of business. Uh, Seventy-five percent of those customers are big organizations. So you know we're in a position in which we know how to scale the business model. So this is what we are investing on sales and marketing. And the second major investment is going to be on innovation in general. Uh, we are here thanks to the innovation. Again, remember that we created the company two years ago, but the technology has started ten years ago. So it's all also about innovation. And of course, we know how to scale the model today with the current technology. But we are here to invest in innovation for you know the coming years. So that, those are, those are going to be the two key points or objectives in, in terms of investment. Well, that sounds great, and I definitely wish you the best of luck, and I appreciate you taking the time today to talk with FounderBuzz. It's always a pleasure, Scott. Okay, thank, thank you, you, Miguel.